picture number one. Let's start with this picture right here. So many jellyfish, shells, seahorses. Kind of reminds me of the sea, a warm summer breeze. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted here. So your task is simple. Find a croissant. Or if you have a bad fresh accent, a croissant. I apologize for that. You have 15 seconds to complete this task. Don't forget that you can always stop the video if you need more time. Your time starts now. And that's it! Did you find it? <laughs> it's right there, on the right side of the picture, between this big shell and jellyfish. <laughs> that was quite easy, right? But don't relax just yet, we have a couple more pictures to come. Picture number 2 Here we have loads of peacocks and other birds. Looks a bit fancier than the last one, but it's not that easy. Here, you'll have to find a butterfly. Let's see how well you'll do here. Your time starts now. Wow, that was hard, wasn't it? I almost ran out of time until I was able to spot it. But there it is, right next to this blue peacock's tail. Were you able to find it? Now, let's see what's next. Picture number 3. Now, let's look at all these different colored birds. They kind of look like the Twitter bird logo, right? But it's not only birds here. Among them, there is a snail. Or escargot. <laughs> all right, enough of that. Try to find it. You have 15 seconds. Took me some time to find it, but here it is. Second last row, between these two cute bluebirds. Did you find this challenging? Don't relax just yet. Let's see what we prepared for you next. Picture number 4 Now in this picture, we can see tons of food. Oh, I'm getting uh, kind of hungry, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna grab an ice cream after we're done here. But anyways, among all these delicious sweets, there is a cup of coffee, which I wouldn't refuse to have right now either. So let's find it. And the time is up. So, where's a cup of coffee? Voila, there it is. I found it only on the 14th second. I uh, got distracted with two of these huge cakes right here. Yeah, all right. Picture number five. Way too many fish here. Oh, the seaside flashbacks from the first picture start coming back. But don't let anything distract you. There is candy in this picture, and you have to find it. So closely pay attention to all the details. You have 15 seconds. Yes, this is for sure the hardest picture. It took some time, but I was finally able to find it. See, right there, next to two blue fish and one yellow one. <laughs> picture number 6. It's getting harder and harder, but who said it'd be easy, right? So, here is your next picture. 
loads of different kinds of balls. But among them, there is a button. Do you think you can find it? Let's see. Time's up! Did you find it? No, I didn't find it at all. Well, for you others, you're right! It's second, last in the fifth row. Nice job here! It took me more time to find it than I thought. But let's move along to the next picture. Picture number 7. Even more jellyfish! I clearly cannot stop thinking about Seaside. But let's get back to our test. Among all these jellyfish hides an air balloon. Those are cool, right? Find it to pass this challenge. This one is a bit harder, right? But there it is, the fifth row right between red and violet jellyfish. Hey, you're doing a great job! Now, let's test your abilities once again with the next picture. Picture number 8 In this picture, I see a lot of leaves. And you? Actually, it's not that simple. Among them hides a turtle, and it's your job to find it. Your 15 seconds starts now. And that's it! So, did you find it? It's right here, next to these yellow and green leaves. Oh, you're kidding me! Now, prepare yourself for the hardest last picture. Let's see what it is. Oh, I can't wait! Hey, good for you! And that's it for the test. Did you find it interesting? Give us a thumbs up if you did. And now it's time to find out your true personality type finally. You probably think, how exactly can these tasks reveal anything about my personality? If you found the items easily, then you can be referred to as an introvert. You possess unique observation skills, and you know how to focus and see the tiniest details. You prefer to be by yourself rather than inside a noisy get-together and feel a bit tired after you spend hours communicating with others. Instead of going to the big party, you will most probably just stay home and read a book or watch the last episode of your favorite TV show, which you were too busy to catch up before. And you will still have a great time. You love to explore your imagination and create new ideas in your mind. You don't just become friends with people right away. You need some time to get to know the person and find out what he or she is all about. You don't have that many friends, but you deeply care about each one of them and you know that they truly care about you as well. You're creative and enjoy showing your vision of the world through drawing, poetry, music, acting, etc. You don't like to show your emotions that much and keep a lot of things in. Still, you're a great friend and a very talented person. Ah, monsieur, you hit the nail on the head with that one. I am very talented. <laughs> If you become bored looking for the items and lost your patience, then you are probably an extrovert. You are an active and emotional human being. You're completely different from the previous type. You will most probably become the life of the party, even if nobody knew you when you got there. After you've spent loads of time communicating, you feel energized and inspired by other people. You like to have conversations with others, and you know how to attract attention. You have a lot of friends and a long list of acquaintances, and you enjoy getting to know new people and to make new friends. You're open to everything that's going on in your life, and you tend to react emotionally in most of the situations. It's hard for you to stay in one place. You want to try everything you find interesting. For you, spending time with others is a true relaxation. It helps you find the energy that you need. You're very funny and witty, but a lot of the times you get bored rather quickly. 
And don't finish something that seemed exciting to you before just because you find the passion in something else. You're a nice person and a true joy to hang out with. Oh, that describes me too. <laughs> Maybe I swing both ways. Well, finally, if you experience difficulties but still pass the test, then you are an ambivert, a rare type of personality. You were probably confused listening about introverts and extroverts because you could find similar traits to your character in both of these descriptions. Well, that's because you're right in the middle of the spectrum. You are a person of many talents, you know how to adapt to different environments, and you find it easy to talk to almost everyone. You're confident in yourself, and you feel comfortable in pretty much every social situation. One weekend, you may party hard, and the other just stay at home in your pajamas, grab a popcorn and watch a movie. Either way, you'll have a great time and feel relaxed. You have a great intuition and know exactly how to find common ground with any person you want. You are a natural-born leader who can inspire different kinds of people and gather around the best out of the best.